This is how to get rolling with your Easy Rider trailer. The hardware and some tools are included, but you'll need some of your own to make this happen. Look at your printed instructions for a list. Okay, find yourself a clear workspace. Then unpack the boxes and lay out the contents. Let's get started. First, unfold the spine to extend it completely. Insert the locking pin through these holes. It looks like this and is in hardware pack one. Attach the retaining clip to the bottom of the locking pin to secure it. Reach into the end of the spine and pull out the wire with the connector attached. Then thread it through the spine extension by pushing the wire through. It may be easier if you use a wire on one end bent into a hook to pull it through the extension. Align the holes like this. Now take this, part C, in your instructions and insert the assembled spine, like this, so the holes align. Use a half inch ratchet or torque wrench with a 16 millimeter socket and a 17 millimeter open-ended box wrench to install the hardware. Tighten it completely. Grab these, D and E, in your printed instructions. D goes here, and E towards the front. Then on each, plug the wires together and tuck them back into the tubing. Adding a zip tie to the wire plugs can help keep them from coming apart. Use a half inch ratchet or torque wrench with a 16 millimeter socket or 16 millimeter open-ended box wrench to install the hardware. Parts H5, H3, and H4. Don't fully tighten it yet. Bring the fenders and the sidewalls together. Plug the wires together on each side. Then use the T30 Torx bit from the hardware pack, an electric screwdriver, and a screw and washer, parts H6 and H7, to attach the ground wire to the frame here. Tuck the excess wire into the frame. Finally, on each side, install the screws and washers, same types as above, through here and here. And tighten them up with the T30 Torx bit and electric screwdriver. Attach your fenders and rails to the spine assembly and connect the wires on each side. Attach the sides and the assembly. Get the H8 bolts from the hardware pack one and attach them on each side. Here, here, and here. Do not fully tighten yet. Combine each trailing arm slash hub with the assembly like this. Grab the H10, H11, and H12 hardware from pack two. Install them, but don't fully tighten them through the frame. Here, like this. Good, now let's do the kickstand. Line up these holes. Then from hardware pack two, install the three H13 screws here. And fully tighten.
and install the lower hardware, pack 2, H11, H15, first the washer, then the pin. Okay, grab a 21mm socket or wrench, and from hardware pack 2, get H14, H11, H12 hardware. And without fully tightening it, install it in exactly this order. Now on each side, mount the wheels onto the lug bolts. Orient your lug bolts, pack 2, H16, like this, tapered end in. Attach them using a deep 21mm socket and fully tighten. Stash this socket somewhere in your vehicle. You'll need it if you ever need to change a flat. These are your crossbar brackets. Facing open side out, flat side up. Place two on each side of your trailer. Get your crossbars and set them in place and align the holes. Install the hardware, pack two, H17, H18 with a six millimeter wrench. If you need to install the license plate frame, it goes on the left fender with H19, H20, and H21 from Hardware Pack 2. Wait, you're not done yet. You need to tighten things up before you do anything else. Go back to steps 6, 11, 13, and 16 in your written instructions and tighten the hardware fully to the specified torque value. And before you load up and hit the road, be sure to read all the load limit info and warnings in your printed instructions. Now you're ready to roll. Take it easy.